Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Audra Kane. With spring municipal elections now complete, we're pleased to welcome in a new councilman for Ward 4, Robbie Gard, with a lifetime spent in Cape Girardeau and a wide array of service to our community. He's plenty to talk about. Robbie Gard is here today to discuss how he plans to help Cape prosper. Thanks for coming, Robbie. Well, thank you for having me. Well, now you've you said earlier, we were chatting earlier, and you said that you are a Cape Girardeau native, graduated from Cape Central High School, went to Southeast Missouri State University. Why did you want to run for a ward office? <laughs> I think it's probably um, going back probably 15, 16 years right after I graduated. Um, I was a small business owner and seeing how the city worked and getting, um, as you grow up and you, and you get involved in more and more organizations and you give time, um, you kind of get filled with this, um, a uh, community service spirit. And so I, I just, I, I want the best for CAPE and I feel like I've always gotten involved in the organizations that I've, that I've been a part of and I just felt like this was a bigger way for me to get more involved. What were some of the organizations you were involved in? I have been uh, past president of Cape Girardeau JCs, and on that board, um, I've been uh, on the board for the Cape Girardeau New Lions, on the Friends of St. Francis uh, board. Uh, I've worked with the Cape Girardeau Chamber of Commerce and, and been in a few different committee uh, roles with the chamber. I actually uh, helped with um, a, uh, the civic group that helped to get TTF uh, 5 passed uh, last August. Uh, so I've, I've different different uh, uh, groups and different people and, and have enjoyed all of it. Now, what do you do as far as business is concerned? What's your line of work? I am a commercial uh, loan officer, commercial relationship manager at MRV Banks here in Cape Girardeau. And so how do you think that benefits your, or what you bring to the table as far as representing Ward 4? Knowing, I think from an economic um, standpoint, not just economic development, but an economic standpoint, um, I, I work with all um, arrays of businesses currently. Um, I know what, I, I like to think that I know what they need to be successful. And I want, you know, matching a uh, successful business and in a successful community, um, matching those is, um, is something that I think I can bring to the table. Um, bank in banking, we look at, uh, we work with larger companies, we work with small companies. So as far as the financial piece for the city of Cape, um, I feel like that will be something that will be uh, easier for me to pick up than the, the average bear, so to speak. So I really f feel like that's something that uh, that I can add value to. Looking at crunching the numbers when that happens and understanding exactly what they're saying about budgets and, and expenses and all of that. Absolutely, I, that and, and, and looking at uh, how uh, the most cost-effective way of, of if there are borrowing needs uh, for the city in bond financing and, and different ways. So w as far as what you've seen occur in the past, as far as our city government and, and knowing how to handle things that are coming in the future, what is it that you foresee as something that's important to the city of Cape Girardeau and its residents? Um, you know, continued economic uh, growth. Um, I think uh, with some of the announcements that you've seen just this week uh, with the um, Marquette Tech District, uh, Courtyard Marriott, um, what Codify has been able to do and, and the revitalization of, of the old federal uh, courthouse. I think you know, we can't rest right now and just and be complacent. We have to keep going and, and take those next steps. And I, I really feel like we've got some momentum and we need to, we need to keep keep trudging forward. That's a word I was just thinking when you were, th I was thinking momentum. There's a lot of momentum uh, in Cape Girardeau. So where uh, in the future, what areas have you pinpointed that you think besides the downtown and, and the announcements that have come recently, what are some other areas that you think we could grow? I think um, in the past uh, with having our industrial park um, in the past on the down at Nash Road has been a hindrance because of it being right next to the diversion channel and that levee 
uh, businesses that that worries people. I think with the industrial park being moved out uh, to LaSalle in 55, I, I think that's a good opportunity for us to to uh, to bring in um, uh, more manu maybe some manufacturing or light manufacturing and bringing some businesses out there. I think that's that's something that we need to try to work on. Okay, and then. Uh, what what would you say as a lifetime resident, and I'm sure you love Cape Girardeau, what would you say is your like favorite aspect of Cape Girardeau? It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical one, could be you know just a social aspect of Cape Girardeau, but what would you say is probably the most appealing part of our city? I could go on for hours. <laughs> um, to me, um, man, I, I've loved our parks. I've loved the partnership and and the things that the university has been able to to bring to my into my life. Um, some of my fondest memories uh, uh, were at, uh, at Southeast uh, athletics and and uh, community events and different things. I, I feel like we have a very diverse group of people uh, in Cape and and really when it boils down to it, it it's about the the relationships and the people that you've got in a community, but um, for me, I, it's everything. I'm I'm proud of Cape, and I uh, I th I think that we're the best you know city in the state of Missouri. Well, you mentioned relationships. Was there one particular relationship, someone that spurred you to public service? Because you've obviously volunteered with a lot of organizations, and and this is a public service position. Absolutely. Was there someone in your life that spurred you toward that? Um. I'll tell you, you know, my, my, it sounds cliche, but my grandfather, uh, both of my grandfathers uh, did a lot, but they, but never at anything like this, at this level, but they always helped. And I, and I think the, the, the nature of it is, is that I like to problem solve and I like to help. And so I think both of my grandfathers, uh, one was a school teacher for 40 years and the other one uh, worked for a local utility company here in, in Cape. And so seeing the service that they gave to uh, students, to people, to uh, their churches, to different groups, um, I think seeing that, um, it made me want to be, it, it came second nature and it made me want to be able to, to give something back. if. If there was one per person that kind of pushed me uh, to take this jump, it was actually my best friend, Trey Bertrand. He's a local uh, local attorney, Cape guy. He and I both graduated from Cape Central and Southeast together, and and I, and he had known since forever that I that I wanted to to do more and get more involved. And 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 when this position we knew that it was going to be available, he said, "Man, you got to do it. You know you want to do it." because uh, I had kind of been timid about it and he said don't be timid you know you want to do this <laughs> and, and jump in and, and do it and and give it your all and well uh, good luck to you I hope that you. you are very successful I'm sure he's proud of you as well well we've been talking with Robbie Gard councilman for Ward 4 thanks again for coming Thank by you for having me. on the way next get to know our new pastor in town Renita Lampkin that's next on Cape Chronicle Through the years, trends and styles may come and go, but the important things remain the same. Generation after generation, consistently there, creating moments and memories to last a lifetime. Like a true friend, the national parks have always been there for you, and now you can be there for them. Support the National Park Foundation and help protect America's treasured places.